Hey guys, so today I'm going to react to Gabby Hanna's new song that it literally just uploaded. I've been waiting literally all day so that I can watch it and I decided to just react to it because why not? Um, I'm obsessed with Gabby. I love her music. I think she's very creative. I have all her music and I have her book. So we're just going to watch it and kind of see what it is because she said that it's very unique and it's very different and it's not what we're expecting. So I am very excited to watch it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. So we'll get into it. Blind lines, but they're getting dark. Oh damn. Blurred lines, but they're getting clearer. Just tell the truth, hey, it's not that hard. You call me crazy, so am I crazy. Your words don't hold anything. She looks good. I can't seem to get a straight answer. Don't Damn, trust girl. you, but who's Those hips, blame? girl. I think you're crazy, but am I crazy? Got me second guessing everything you say. Thinking that I know you, but you're really a stranger. Doing what you gotta do to get your way. You're reckless and selfish, and you can't help it. Say you're talking to me honestly. Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez vibes. Like, she said that this is something that would not be played on the radio, but I think that's completely wrong. I think this could definitely be played on the radio. The beat, the way that her voice is, like, it just sounds extremely good. I really, really enjoy it so far. I'm kind of speechless. That's why when I'm watching, I'm just kind of like, I have nothing to say because it's just so good. Like, I'm 43 seconds in and I'm already like, holy shit, like, this is good. Like, Gabby. <laughs> like, Everybody who is a YouTuber who does music, like, I am absolutely uh, in love with and obsessed with Trisha Paytas and Shane Dawson and all these people who create music, but they're all autotune. They are massively produced with, like, music and everything to make them sound good, but Gabby genuinely has a good voice and is very talented and can write very good poetry and music and she's just very creative in that way so I think that that's one of the main differences between Gabby and YouTubers like Trisha Paytas because Trisha I absolutely love her and I love her music I bought all her music that she's ever put out but Gabby is genuinely talented in that department which is why I can see Gabby going mainstream going to going bigger than just YouTube music um which I think that's her ultimate goal but I truly think that she could do that Okay, sorry, blabbling. Let's get back into the video. I'm pretty sure that uh, when she did the video of like, do the get ready with me, I'm pretty sure she did the eye makeup that she did in that video and for her music video. Cause she was talking about how she wasn't sure she was gonna do it, but she might have someone to do it. I think she ended up doing her own makeup and it looks good. This is the part where she was talking about choreography and how like she's so like excited with herself and impressed with herself. I'm excited. I love her dancing. I love that she dances. She's literally just so talented in like everything that she does. I'm very jealous. Like she can write, she can sing, she does poetry, she can dance, she's funny, she's good at telling stories, she's very charismatic, and she's also like down to earth and very true to herself. And that's what I absolutely love about Gabby. Are you hiding? Did you lie when you caught a love? Or am I crazy? Somebody say me.
she was literally dancing on concrete and she probably had to do that like a hundred times before they got like the perfect shot i was kind of confused like why the hell does she have all these bruises because like on her insta stories she was showing all the bruises and stuff all over her body after dancing so i'm like holy shit like what were you doing now that makes sense encore so is it gonna be two different songs kind of like with her roast yourself where it's gonna be completely different I'm wondering or if, is it gonna be the same thing and also um, I just want to like point out that she talked about how this was about her ex-boyfriend like that's what she originally wrote the song about and it literally fits perfectly to a T so I hope that this guy who like fucked with Gabby's mental like her mental health I hope that he like realizes like oh shit I fucked up like this bitch wrote a song about me, like she Taylor Swifted me. Maybe I should get my shit together. <laughs> I'm excited for the drop. I'm excited what's next. Oh, holy shit. This is different. She was very, very truthful. Oh my god. Cross my heart and hope to die. You never cross my fucking mind. Oh my Do you know what your See little it, lies? Do you know what I had to fight through? Nothing that you say is mildly true. Spit deceit through shifty smiles to faces you've had for a while. You act like such a fucking child. Who are you now? You're so hostile to me. I'm feeling homicidal. You better run and try and hide. Who Swear to God, I haven't missed ya. God, I hope I never miss ya. Wow. Okay, so that's the song. Z two. I'm. I love them. I love that she did choreography that was completely different from what I expected. And the two songs, they kind of, like, they fit perfectly together. The message that she was portraying in it wasn't anything like the roast yourself, but it was also, like, her truth. It's what she felt at that time. And I think that it was good because she had so much passion in her voice because of what she went through the last however many months that it just came off in the screen as, like, very passionate and very angry in that gringy voice and that like really talented voice that just you can't get unless you have a raw emotion when you sing and I think that's what makes a singer a good singer is when they can put the feelings and what they've been going through and put it into music. That's kind of like what Demi Lovato does. She sings and writes songs about her life and about what she's going through and that's why I think that Sober was such a crazy thing for Demi because that's what she was feeling and that's what she was going through and that's why it was so you could just feel the emotion in the song. And that's how I feel about Honestly and Honestly Encore. I'm super impressed. I just love Gabby and I love her music and I love how talented she is. She looked gorgeous. 
the song was so good it's something that like honestly the first part is something that I could dance to in a freaking club like when I'm getting ready to go party and I want to pregame that's what I'm putting on I'm getting all wrapped up it's something that I could just like rev myself up in and the second half of the honestly encore two just kind of it's like that I don't know it's just like that dark raw song like I just thought that it was so creative and the way that she did the choreography I know that she had someone help her with the choreography and teach her but I just love that it was like ropes and like she's chained up and there's men grabbing on her like it's so symbolic to what she was feeling like she was feeling entrapped and encaged and like he had hold of her and she couldn't release herself and like he kept coming back and kept coming back and kept manipulating her and I think that that's exactly what was portrayed in the music video so I thought that was very cool how they did that but yeah um I'm going to I if I can find it, I'm going to try to link down her songs in the description below for you to actually purchase, plus her original video. I hope that she doesn't mind that I did a react video. I know a lot of people do it because they hope to get a ton of views or whatever, but I genuinely am in love with Gabby. I love her so much. I know she'll literally never see this, so like it doesn't really matter, but please go support her if you like her music, if you thought that she was very talented. She does have, I believe, three other songs. She has Out Loud... Uh, satellite and the roast yourself one and now she has these two songs so please go find her on YouTube I'll link everything in the description below go check her music out she's super talented she's hilarious she tells great story times 